Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I've done a few videos over the last uh, few days with the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. And they come here in a box of 28, well, it's 32 bottles, but 28 colors. And I put them in specific orders and did tree rings with them. I'll put those two videos down in the description if you haven't seen them. Today, we're going to put all the colors and um, do a flip cup with it. And I'm putting these in completely random order. Some of these bottles I think are pretty empty, so I may not get to use that color or, or much of it, but I'm gonna do my best. And we're just gonna have fun with it. So here we go. All right, so I did get at least a few drops out of each color, and by my, by my estimate, there's about seven ounces of paint in here. I am going to flip cup this. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. So we'll go ahead, and I like to let this sit for a minute, let all the colors kind of settle, and then we'll pull it off, and we'll see what we've got. Okay, here we go. Now I don't have enough paint to do another one of these 28 color experiments, but when I do get some more, I will be doing a tree ring with all the colors again in a random order. Like I just poured these all in here in a random order. So, so far pretty exciting. I don't know that you can kind of tell that it's 28 different colors in here. Definitely very colorful. Um, and I've, I, I do understand, I've heard some people say, well, those bottles are just too small. And look, I totally get it. But I've actually gotten like a surprising number of paintings done with just this first kit. Now, I do think we should all plea with Arteza to offer specific colors. So like if we wanted to go back and buy more of one specific color without buying the whole kit, it would be nice to be able to do that. So I think we should all talk to Arteza and tell them that's what we need and want. But I am very happy with this kit and I think it is perfect for any beginning acrylic pourer or you know, anyone who just wants to get outside their comfort zone and try some new colors or anyone who's lazy and doesn't want to mix paint, which is me half the time. <laughs> so there we go. That is quite colorful, quite beautiful. I like that we have kind of the perfect blend of cool and warm colors. So we didn't get any particular concentration of one or the other. Let's go ahead and let this sit and we'll see if anything else develops and then we'll bring it in for the close up. Okay, we're back. Not too much movement. I haven't noticed this paint to do quite as much with cells as say the flow trawl and whatnot. And honestly, this did get a little more blended and muddied than I would have hoped. Um, I did a flip cup with this before, but of course not with the 28 colors, but I love, love, love this. I love how vibrant that uh, red remained and the green. You can see the green in there. Um, I, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. So let's do our close up. Okay, so lower right hand corner, you can see that green popping through. So the green and the red, especially. A little bit of the blue over there, but it's kind of a bit more muted, as is this really pretty galactic purple over here. Um, but the, the red through there, nice and bright. It's definitely very interesting. It's almost, uh, seems similar to one of my leftover paint pours. Lower uh, left hand corner. So, there we go. All right guys, let me know what you think. Um, this will be the last of my Arteza pouring paint 
videos for a little while until I can get some more back in stock. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy this and I will see you all next time.